So how'd you do? Look I excited. did good. How you know you did good? Wait, damn. I mean, man, I love you, bro. Ah, uh, hey. No, thing with me. The thing my birthday. Thing yay. yay. No, thing with me. The thing my birthday. Thing yay. 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 That was great. Hey, Grabby. 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 <laughs> yeah, my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Say happy birthday to me. Say yeah. yeah. my birthday, yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so scary. Say happy birthday to me, Cammy. <laughs> <laughs> How much homework work you got? Nothing much. I think happy for me? Why? Because you're one year older. Don't say yay! Yay! So while we sitting in here waiting for Soraya's interview, Soraya's playing her game. Soraya challenged me to see if I would be able to pass where she's at in the game, her level. And I promised her by the time she's done with her interview, when she comes out, I'm going to be like 10 stages ahead of her. Because what she don't understand is I'm the WBC heavyweight video game champion of the world. Phone video game champion of the world. I hold the title ever since... Uh, Snake, yeah, snake on the Nokia phone. So she wants. No, it's no, nah, it's, it's real. No, nah, it's a real deal. I'm a snake champion. I'm playing snake, playing all that. Yeah. Look with some more kids right there. I try to take your food, daughter. You got to go in there and fight for your food. You got to go in there trying to eat your food, daughter. Okay, you ready to eat their food too? You gonna eat their food? You ready? You ready? Yeah. Oh, wait. You ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? Yes. No, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. We see that other kid over there, that's right. He just disappointed his father. You'll never disappoint me, daughter. He, dis he, he disappointed him. Look at him. He's checking him. You'll never do that for me, daughter. More people trying to eat your food, daughter. Your game plan is to go in there and eat, eat, eat. It's only food for you. It's no food for no one. <laughs> yeah, the daughter's in there taking care of her business. Getting it up out the way so we can go home and get some more rest on this Saturday. Yeah, I love my daughter. I always set your kids up for success. And, uh... Because, you know, you're not going to live forever. She's going to have her wonder years where she does her, she lives her life, does her little things, you know, you know, experiences and stuff like that. But I always want to have her mind goal oriented where she's always chasing after a dream, after a goal, you know, trying to obtain something, you know, to make her life easier. That's the goal, to make your life easier. Not necessarily chasing after money. You know, just chasing after what makes you happy, first and foremost, and what will make your life easier, you know? So, I mean, I pay a pretty penny.
for her um, education as far as her being in private school and things of that nature, but it's worth it because she loves school. She'll have a fit if she she's late for school. You know what I'm saying? She's like a teacher teacher's pet, which is not a bad thing. I, don't, I hope she don't watch the part of the video where I call her a teacher pet. You know what I'm saying? But she's she's a perfect girl to, in my eyes. Perfect little girl. Couldn't ask God for a better daughter. And the kids are piling in now. For the, I forgot the name of the scholarship. I'll probably tell you when she gets back. I don't have to be on top of her. And, uh, you know, grab her attention towards stuff that she needs to pay attention to because she does that on her own. She's... I don't have to be on top of her. You know, probably that, that probably will come later in life as she gets older. But for right now, Soraya is the perfect little girl. Take care of her business, does her homework, cry when she don't get a chance to go to school. It's my baby. Hopefully she does good. I guess she'll let us know how it went. When she comes out, she probably will lie and say it went good. As long as she's in there doing the best she can, is what matters. And I know for a fact my daughter's going to know it. All right, I'll let you guys. I'm going to play a little bit of this game, Diversion, before she comes out. Where I can top her score. Show her that daddy's the man. I'll holler at you guys. So how'd you do? I did good. How you know you did good? Because uh, I could tell they were interested, and then they... They kept saying, like, all the things, like, all my hobbies were impressive. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm You got some impressive hobbies? Mm hmm What is and, that? Doing your hair? Oh, yeah. They, oh, okay. Um, um, I told, they said, they asked me about, like, college and stuff. And then I said, um, I definitely want to uh, major in engineering, and I'm not sure if it's mechanical or chem chemistry. Mm -hmm. I told them the reason behind that because of my science fair projects and also my model building. And then it, that's when they were really impressed. That's and my then baby. they said, and I told them the awards I won, and both of those, and then they were really impressed with that too. And I said, I'm on a minor in business because I was thinking about um, opening a natural hair care line. And then they were up, they were asking a lot of questions about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, like, what, what all of y'all know about the scholarship? Uh -huh. And then I had told her that. Um, my mom had shown me a video of it and people that had it and they they said that since they received the scholarship they had many opportunities and even if they had the scholarship they also had like a counselor like one on one and then I said if I had more one on one that would like make me flourish more oh, yeah. mm -hmm. so that's what they was like okay that's good now me and Soraya do these things where I ask her about things from my generation to see if her generation caught up with those things. Today's question is, do you know who George Jetson is? <laughs> All right, this is a bonus round. Do you know who, let me see. Candy, give me a person. Who? Do you know who Steve Urkel is? Yeah. Oh, that's Candy. The child's mother. Her theme song is going to be, I hate you so much right now. <laughs> that's Candy. That's her mother. Soraya's is, uh, don't touch my hair. And, so, and Candy's is, I hate you so much right now. That's what, that's what's gonna play. <laughs> so, uh, do you know who Bobby Brown is? Mm -hmm. She know who Bobby Brown is, but you don't know who George Jetson is. George Jetson is. What? Who? 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 who you ask? Do you know who Steve Urkel is? No, Stephen Q. Urkel is. Do you know who Stefan is? You don't know who Stefan is. Stefan Urkel. Do you know who Stefan Urkel is? And you just saying his name a different way? No, nah, he actually turned into some, a different person. Oh. He was like the the more riskier Steve Urkel. He was like the Urkel that took risk. Uh, let me see who else. 
Ask me, do I know somebody from your generation? Uh, do you know who Billie Eilish is? Yeah, you know, I was actually watching a video on B- Billie Eilish last night. So, of course, I know who Billie Eilish is. She's a little girl that sings, right? Yeah. I don't like her music. But... She got that song, uh, uh, who's it? Justin Bieber did the remix, right? Mm. Um, she'd be like, that song, right? Yeah. See, I know, I, see, I know every goddamn thing, daughter. Do you know who, uh, give me somebody. <clears throat> Do you know who, uh, so I know who Billie Eilish is. So I won that round. They said she be making songs to, to make kids uh, commit suicide. She make depressing music. Her songs be no. about suicide. No, That's the reason why I, I have found out about her. Make sure you wasn't why I was listening to her. <laughs> <laughs> They say her songs promote suicide. That's Many kids thank her because they was in a sad state. But then when they listen to her songs, they not anymore. Because they're dead. That's no. why. Because they're dead, daughter. No. They committed suicide. <laughs> now, suicide is not a joke. But, uh, yeah. Let me see. Do you know who... Steve Irwin is? That's somebody stupid. Steve Irwin. Do you know who Steve Irwin is? Yes, yeah, the crocodile hunter. <laughs> right, I should know who that is. Do you know Why? who? Cuz he killed himself. He didn't kill himself. I mean, Stingray killed him. Uh, let me see. Do you know who Mr. T is? No. Why would she know who Mr. T is? But I know who Steve. She Irwin. know who Bobby Brown is. Cause she know who Whitney Houston is. That don't mean nothing. Uh, they kind of go hand-in-hand with each other. They go hand-in-hand with each other? Yeah. Well, uh, Miss T go hand-in-hand with the 80s. Steve Urkel is from the... I don't know the 80s. Exactly. You know me. I'm no. from the 80s. I know you. Back with the police. When was I so posh? No. So when we going home and get something to eat or we stopping somewhere? We going home and get something to eat. It's food at home. Yeah. Just go shopping. The interview people, they forgot that I had my grades and stuff. And then I would ask them. They was like, oh, yeah. Both of them did that. They I'm forgot like, wasn't that the job. first thing that you would ask for? Grades? Yeah. Did they, um, you get on the picture? Yeah. Picture of what? Of me. They asked my latest school picture. What's your model shoot? I don't even know what these pictures. Hey. So they can keep remember the face with the grades. That's why. Oh, so if you're an ugly girl, they're not going to give you no, scholarship. They're like, oh, hell. Hell. They go back. And they only awarding 50 people with the scholarship. And my oh, baby is going to be the first one to get it. And the lady, the director said if they can, uh, depending on how many funds they get, if they can give pe- more people than they have And if they don't, guess what? Your daddy going to always fund you, okay? I don't know about your mama, but your daddy is going to always find you. Your mama is going to make sure you're straight. Yeah, so, I mean, it ain't too much of a pressure whether you get it or not. I mean, it'd be a blessing if you did, but, I mean, you still got you. And that's why I asked the lady, the girl, what type of stuff um, will they have you doing if you do get the scholarship? And that's why I prayed, I'm like, if it's in God's will for you to get it, because what about the things that they require you to do, you know, interfere with other things? What if they ask you to sacrifice your mother in order to get the scholarship? Would you do that? I'm not doing that. What if you just signed up for the Illuminati, not a scholarship? That's on the next. Beauty and ABs. So what? Soraya classmate. Soraya got on leggings. She just got on real thin leggings, and they call them stockings. Tights, or whatever you call them. But yes, right, you did good. Well, if the girl that came, that came in there with the leggings on came there to show off her gymnastic skills or something. Probably. Huh? But they said dress in business attire. I 
she was uh, I just want to raise and feel at ease. She was on business. That's business attire to her because she came that took care of the business. She did her somersaults, her her ways and all that, and she got the job done. And that's what it's about. <clears throat> Because we all going in at the same time. Yeah. Scrappy gonna, Scrappy gonna be too happy to see you. Cause he think you at school and he don't know the days of the week. So he's gonna be very astounded that you made it home earlier than what you thought, like earlier than what you, he thought you would make it home. Cause he'd be timing us by the sun, by the shadows of the sun in the room. <laughs> Hi daughter. Hey. Let me tell you about the first time I went to a party. Do you know what they said? No. Baby, welcome to the party. I got the money to send and leave on the party. Baby, welcome to the party. Right, Scrappy? Yeah. 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 Right, Scrappy? Yeah, I remember the first time you came to the hospital. Came from the hospital, I should say. I was like, wow. I'm a father. And I have a baby. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why are you so blue, Soraya? Telling you lies. I see, I see. Got your whole room looking blue. Scrabby! You don't mess with me no more? You don't mess with me no more, Scrabby? Scrabby, I got some food. Huh, huh, boy? Huh. Don't dumbass. Baby! Huh, Scrabby? Huh, huh? Here you go, boy. Here you go, boy. Mm -hmm. You dumb as hell. Keep falling for that. I taught you better than that, Scrappy. This is Scrappy, the Schnauzer, and Yorkie mix. He's a great guard dog. As you can see, he's protecting my daughter. Make sure no one gets close to her. He barks as soon as somebody comes to the door. All she do is pay him in popcorn, right? Right, Scrabby? You a good dog or a bad dog? Raise your right ear if you're a bad dog. Raise your left ear if you're a good dog. Oh, you've been a good dog. <laughs> my daughter's got through moisturizing my hair because I made her. She doesn't have a choice. It's my personal hairstylist. Y'all don't even know how my, how my hair look. That's crazy. I always have my hat in my video. Have my hat on in my video. So I'm pretty sure you guys don't know that. I got a George Jefferson. You know who George Jefferson is, daughter? No. You, do you know who George Jefferson, George Jefferson is? No. Do you know who Benny Siegel is? No. Do you know who uh, Cameron is? You know who Whoopi Goldberg is? Yeah. Oh, you know who Whoopi Goldberg is. All right. We tune in tomorrow for Sor Are you changing the colors? Yeah. Tune in tomorrow for S Do you know? I'm leaving you alone, Princess Crown. Dun -dun 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 -dun.